Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to a lesson on finding the argument of complex numbers in quadrants 3 and 4. So let's define a complex number as negative 2 minus 3i. And we want to find the argument of it. So negative 2 is the real part of this complex number. So that's why you can see we have from the origin moved two units to the left on the real axis and then we move three units downwards on the imaginary axis so one two three moving it down and we have our complex number located here in quadrant three and we want to find the argument of it which means we want to find the angle between this line Okay, we want to find the angle between this line and the positive x-axis. Now, you're going to get an angle that is bigger than 180 degrees. Okay, because if you're starting over here at 0 degrees and you're going anti-clockwise, you would go 0, 90, which is here. Actually, I'll just write it on the top. So 0 is here, 90 is over here, 180 over here, 270 here, and so on. But you would also notice that if we go in the opposite direction, which means uh, we rotate it using negative angles, okay, um, you can also get to the same point because if 0 is over here, I'll just draw with a different color. Now, if going in the anti-clockwise is the positive rotation, going in the clockwise direction would be a negative rotation, so we would go negative 90 degrees over here and negative 180 over here. So we would be rotating clockwise. And this is the angle we want to find for the argument of Z because of the reason that this is a smaller angle and we want the easiest way of getting to this point from the positive X axis. So the argument of Z is defined for is defined so that theta which is the angle between this line segment and the positive x-axis has to be between negative 180 to positive 180 degrees. Okay, so basically we need to start from the positive x-axis and we're going in the clockwise direction with a negative angle. Okay, uh, Sorry, let me say that again. You can still think of it as rotating anti-clockwise with a negative angle, which means we're going clockwise to get to Z. Okay, so ignore the green angle because now we want to find the purple angle, which is a negative angle. Now, in order to find that angle, we still need to use tangent theta. Why? Because we have our right angle triangle over here. Okay, we have our right angle triangle over here where um, we can find this angle here and let's call this angle theta 2. If we find theta 2 and this is a right angle over here. Okay, if we find theta 2 using trigonometry, then we can just go negative 180 plus theta 2, and that will give us what theta is. Okay, so rather than talking about it, I'm just going to show you. So the opposite side, this side here, is equal to 3 and the adjacent side here 
is equal to 2. Let me just draw that triangle out so you get a better view of it. So um, this is our right angle triangle and we have the right angle over here. We want to find this angle and the side length over here for the opposite side is 3 units and the adjacent side is um, two units. So let's find out what this angle is. Actually that is theta 2 not theta. So tan of theta 2 is equal to opposite over adjacent. Tan of theta 2 is equal to 3 over 2. So inverse tan and putting that in your calculator is 56.3 degrees and if you want to um, so if you want to find theta which is the pink one which is the argument of Z so the argument of Z is therefore equal to 100 negative 180 degrees plus 56.3 degrees right and if you put that in your calculator it's negative 123 degrees okay and that is theta negative 123.69 degrees okay so if you want to have a go I will give you guys another one where the complex number is in quadrant 4 so Z equals 3 minus 4i and find the argument of Z where theta has to be between 180, negative 180 to 180. Okay, so find the argument of Z. And come back when you're done. Okay, so let's have a go. So let's draw out the angle. So we have 3 on the real plane so one two three and neg negative four on the imaginary plane so this is our complex number here and we want this angle so all we have to do is um, use inverse tan so tan theta equals opposite over adjacent this side is the opposite this side is the adjacent so tan theta equals uh, oops labeled it incorrectly so this side here is 4 right because from here to here it's four units and the adjacent side is three so um, opposite over adjacent so theta equals inverse tan four over three and if we put that in your calculator it's fifty three point one three degrees and if you have a look, theta is from the real axis, the positive real axis going clockwise, so going downwards, which is the negative direction. So argument of Z is equal to negative 53.13 degrees. 
Okay, and let's check our answer in GeoGebra. So by the way, every single question we have done, you can check your answer in GeoGebra. So in GeoGebra, all you have to do is you type the complex number in. So let's do, um, for example, negative 2 minus 3i. That was the first one we did today. So we've got the complex number over here. It's drawn the complex number. And if we just type arg bracket z underscore 1 in the input panel, okay, and press enter, then it tells you the argument. So our first one is 123.69. And if you have a look at our answer, it was 123.69. And let's do our second one. So the complex number is 3 minus 4i. 3 minus 4i. And let's find the argument of z2. And it is negative 53.13, which is exactly what we found. 